have a job interview in an hour, and I desperately need a pedicure. <sighs> okay, um, I guess I can help you. Take a seat, but be careful. Just so you know, I'm gonna have to charge you a service fee, because how do you say it? You're a big girl. This same kind of body shaming reportedly happened at a salon in Memphis, Tennessee. It's this picture of a sign sparking discussion on Facebook, saying, sorry, but if you are overweight, pedicures will be $45. Excuse me, but <laughs> what does my weight have to do with my toenails? Come on, you know it's a much bigger job. If you saw a woman being insulted and treated unfairly simply because of her weight... Try not to move so much. It's an expensive chair. What would you do? We've taken over the pedicure chairs at Stephanie Nail Salon in Kenilworth, New Jersey. So the service charge is double. So you'd be at 40, OK? Yes. That grabs the attention of this customer. Because you're too big. It's, it's just one of those things, like, it doesn't cover all of our costs. And she decides to weigh in. Well, that's very rude. Someone like her size came in last week. They broke our chair. That doesn't matter. No, it was, it was really bad. That's not anyone's problem. But it's like extra work for me, so I need an extra tip. You understand. She has a different understanding. I get extra work a lot at my job. And you get compensated for it, right? Well, I'm a teacher. I don't get compensated for anything. I don't mean it in any disrespect. It's just like facts, you know what I mean? No, that's not a fact. It seems to be like an opinion and a very rude one at that. Do you have kids? Yes, two. Would you ever let somebody talk to your child that way? I just want to sell a state of the No, the, the first thing you said was the right thing. No, you wouldn't. You don't have to say anything after that. Your first instinct right there was no. Now it's time to let her know her instincts oh, are right on. Hello, how are you? How are you? How are you? I'm good, how are you? Hello, hello. Wow. Hey, Jessica. Your approach is different. As a teacher, what do you hope your students learn from this? That you know what's right and what's wrong and how to treat people. You know when somebody's sitting next to you that they're hurting. And if it doesn't sound right, say something and try to change it. We're back in the salon. Careful getting on that chair. Gentle. Just so you know, there is a service charge. For what? For people your size. What do you mean? like larger people like yourself. Wait, I'm confused, why? This man and his brother over in the waiting area are also confused. Because the chairs are really expensive and we don't want anything to be broken. Not to mention I have to do extra work on these feet. Okay, so, so how much more will it be? Double. You're double the size, you pay double. But it's normal, don't worry about it. I have to get more lotion from the back, just a minute. But when our nasty nail tech steps away, his confusion turns to action. That's highly disrespectful. You need to apologize to her. It doesn't matter. This is your job. You do your job. Now you go apologize to her. But I'm not talking about it you. Does, I don't care if you're not talking about me. That's disrespectful. Very. But you're like nice and skinny. It doesn't. Don't, that's not, that's, you shouldn't worry about that. Size doesn't matter. You go apologize to her. Either you apologize or you just walk out and not come back. That's it, because you're very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. You demanded that she apologize to her. Yeah, she deserved the apology. Like, no matter what size, you, you got to respect. She's beautiful. You, no matter no, what, size doesn't matter. Size doesn't matter. It's a sentiment we hear all day long from a fellow beautician. I can't believe I'm, I'm listening to this. I really cannot. I'm a hairdresser. I have never heard this in my entire life. I've done feet. I've done nails. This is ridiculous. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. She is a human being. Shame on you. You better pray to God. You better go to church. Shame on you. From a nurse. You know what? I was a nurse for 40-some-odd years. Some patients were small and very easy to handle. Other patients were not as small and not as easy to handle. How can we not be kind? And from this outspoken woman. That's why Stop she's not what anything. you're saying! Stop it! I'm just trying to say Yes, no, 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 no. Do your job. 
and stop. Why you don't talk to you this way? Do not cry and don't let your people talk to you this way. Thank you so much, you're so right. Oh my God. I'm John Kenyon. I know you. <laughs> you have tears in your eyes. No, I just felt so bad for her. And I never judge people for their sizes. And I hate that. I hate those people. We roll one last time. Just be careful moving around so much, please. OK, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you know how much it costs to replace these chairs? Like, we're very nervous when people your size come in the building. They cost a lot. Jessica Moore struggles to contain her disgust. Like, this is a workout. I hate when my boss makes me do fat people's legs. But that comment finally tips the scale. I, I'm very sorry, but that is very rude to say. I am 18 years old, and I think that's disrespectful, and you should not be doing that. Do you see how much work this is? Well, then Are you kidding me? It's, it's your job. Yeah, but it's a lot more. I, I, I understand that, but it's your job. You should not be complaining, and if you are, Keep it to yourself because everyone in this room can hear what you're saying to this lady. Like, but really, why are you getting involved anyway? Because I can see that you're upsetting her. And I actually care about people's feelings. And I'm going, because she's not going to say anything, so I'll say something. Because you know what? You're making me, you're making me upset for her. You upset the whole place. Do you see what you did? It was not her, it was you. I'm very sorry. I'm going to leave. Hi, young lady. Hi. <laughs> I'm John Quinones. What would you do? <laughs> you OK? Yeah. Tell us what was going through your mind. It took a lot of me not to yell at her the first couple times. You don't know how people feel about themselves. Like, people don't have that much self-esteem, and you could be destroying it by doing this. Your message to people who think like her? Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> 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 Keep it in your head. Yeah. Got nothing nice to say, don't say it.